This video is brought to you in part by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com, your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTS to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats, your game, your style. Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Klotz Productions, and welcome to another Magic the Gathering gameplay. Today I have a match of me playing my Grixis Control deck, and I'm going up against Kyle, who is playing his blue-white weenie deck. Kyle started off the game on the play and put a planes into play, and then I laid down a tap drown catacomb. Kyle played a glacial fortress, and then I laid down a mountain. Then Kyle laid down another fortress, and I laid down another mountain. I then attempted to resolve a druidic satchel, however Kyle stopped it with a mana leak. Kyle continued to lay down lands, however I missed my 4th and 5th land drops and decided to discard an incinerate at the end of the turn in order to keep my mana open for counter spells. Kyle's 6th land was a moorland haunt and he cast a sword of war and peace. I used a mana leak on him to force him to tap out, however the sword still resolved. I finally hit my 4th land drop which was an island and then I used it to cast a solemn simulacrum and then when it came into play I searched for another land which was a swamp. For Kyle's next turn, he put a Sea Chrome Coast in the play tapped. He still didn't have any creatures to play though, so he just resolved in honor of the pure. I attacked Kyle for 2 with my Simulacrum, taking him down to 18 life, and then went ahead and passed the turn. Kyle then cast a Hero of Blade Hold. I attempted to counter it with a Dissipate and remove it from the game. However, Kyle had a Mana Leak to counter my Dissipate, and the Hero resolved. I then hit my 6th land drop, however it was a Black Cleave Cliff, so it had to come into play tapped. So instead of being able to cast a Titan this turn, I had to settle with an Azure Mage. Kyle then equipped his sword to his hero and attacked with it, giving himself two more tokens. I chose to block the hero with my Simulacrum and draw a card off of it and took six damage from the tokens, going down to 14 life. I then used a go for the throat that I drew off the top of the library to get rid of the hero. For my next turn, I laid down a Sulphur Falls and then cast and resolved a Grave Titan. And then at the end of the turn, Kyle used his Moreland Haunt to exile his hero and get himself a 1-1 Spirit Token. Kyle then used an Oblivion Ring to get rid of my Grave Titan. He then equipped his sword to his spirit and attacked with the spirit and his two tokens. I traded his soldiers with my zombies and then took 4 damage from the spirit. I then took another 3 damage from the sword and he gained 3 life, taking me down to 7 life and him up to 21. For my turn, I started off by resolving a second Grave Titan. I then paid 4 life, going down to 3 to cast a Dismember and get rid of his spirit. I then attacked with my Zero Mage for 2 damage, taking Kyle down to 19. Kyle then resolved a Geist of Saint Traft, and then used another Oblivion Ring to get rid of my Grave Titan again. For my next turn, I started off by attacking with my two zombie tokens. Kyle decided to eat one of them with his Geist and take two damage, going down to 17. Then post-combat, I resolved a Consecrated Sphinx, allowing me to block his Angel next turn. I drew two cards with my Sphinx when Kyle drew his card. He then played a second Honor of the Pure, buffing his creatures even more, and then equipped his sword to his Geist. He then attacked with the Geist and made himself an angel. Unfortunately for me, the angel was now big enough to kill my Sphinx and I was forced to chump block, losing both of my creatures. Kyle then finished his turn by tapping out to cast a Porcelain Legionnaire. I drew my next card but didn't have any way to kill Kyle's Geist or stop his angel from killing me next turn, so I scooped it up, giving him the win. So that's it for this gameplay. I hope you all enjoyed it. Be sure to check the annotations at the end to find the full version of this game along with other previous highlights gameplays. And as always, if you like this or any other video, give it a thumbs up, and if you really like it, add it to your favorites, then subscribe and come back for more videos.